Got us a big beauty here. A nice dark coon on this dog proof. I believe I showed tracks on the ice on this creek yesterday. Uh, yeah, we got us got us one nice one here today. The other DP ain't touched. So get him taken care of and get down the road. There's a big old culvert coon there. He's actually blind in his eye. Uh, the camera will pick that up. He's blind in one eye, but there's a nice big old tube coon there. We'll take him and get on down the road. All right, guys. You watched me make this these sets yesterday, and the high bank trail trap is actually snapped off. I'm not sure what's going on there, but got us a nice 2x coon here. Uh, made himself a nice little burn circle down here in this creek. But I believe this is number five for the day. So we're chugging right along. We'll get him taken care of and get out of here. Well, guys, if you remember, I showed you from the road, there's a little gap in this tall grass. Today we're down here and we got not a very big coon, but it is a coon. So, just them little trails like that, guys. Hey, I know this one last year, I think I took four or five coon out of it. So, definitely a good little location. He's not a bad coon. I'll take anything in a 220. Pop this baby off his head. See if I remember how to set 220s. It's been a minute. grass out of here my safety over here there we go pop him out of there you're going up on the road little buddy and then I can not be caught in my own cable here. There we go. Get our 220 resituated back in here. I love little funnels like this, guys. Um, we got some snow, so it knocked down a lot of what I would call my really good 220 locations. But it's going to take a lot of snow to knock down grass like this. So. Go ahead and just take our trap. Um, I'm probably gonna move it up here just a little bit. He kind of buggered up the area down where I had it. So we'll just move her up a little bit. And plenty of grass around here to use, that's for sure. Tuck this in the side. This here. Uh, love to see the 220s hitting already. I don't have many out, but the few I do have out catch, I'll be happy. I know I had one blank one ready, but. Take us a look-see here. Yeah, looks good for another one to me. On down the road. Well guys, see another 220 that I got's all messed up. Yep, that's a nicer coon there too. Uh, this trail actually, it didn't look the best in the world. So I put that 220 that I caught all those coon going over that culvert. I put that 220 here for good luck. <laughs> I'm not superstitious, but it didn't look that good. So I added a little luck, luck to the pot. But we're literally, I don't know, 75 yards from where I just had that last one in a 220. Uh, I got a couple, a couple little stretches that I can get 220s in still, but. This one I was kind of pushing it, you know, it's it's in brome grass, so the grass isn't very tall. But that's a nice big coon. He hasn't been caught in there all that long either. He must have moved this morning. Nice, nice coon there. Uh, might be kind of difficult to remake this one, but as you guys can see, he was flopped out of the trail, unlike the previous coon who did not do what he was supposed to do that's all right they don't all they don't all get a chance to please you i guess but grab my rat stretcher slide it through the springs go back in my trail here if you guys can tell i'm sitting in the trail when i'm remaking this it's so i don't knock down 
any of this grass in the surrounding area around the trail uh, there's already not much grass here as far as how i would like a 220 location to be so try and do what i can to really preserve that wall of the trail if you will because they'll stick to a trail really good if you can keep it if you can keep it normal how they're going to be walking through there they'll stick to a trail pretty good even if you put a 220 in their face so that in there she's ready for another one on down the road well i told you guys how the farmer ripped out a whole bunch of trees over here along this creek and how i was really hoping it'd still be good because i'd normally catch 10 or 12 coon out of here a year it's one of my best spots we got one jokes on the farmer this spot's too good for him to ruin <laughs> so that makes me feel good guys i absolutely love trapping this spot it's really good so we'll get him taken care of and get out of here now this is more like it oh he's got a bag of cheetos did you get hungry buddy that's a big old boy there big old boy uh running from a big river bottom on the other side of this bean field to a cornfield behind me so we'll get him taken care of hopefully we got about 50 more that that big today there we go there's another good one you might want a piece of me i'm not exactly sure but it's just going to a cornfield here uh there's a bunch of junk in the woods behind me and buildings and stuff so we'll get him taken care of and get out of here it's a nice nice big coon there we got us a double got us a coon and a dog proof right there hanging out we got another coon and a 220 trying to get up to the timber up here so we'll get them taken care of and get out of here hopefully hopefully we get some more of these doubles today well guys got us first triple of the day down here uh, i think two of them dispatched themselves they're kind of in watery situations but this guy here's still kicking Yeah, that guy there nice coon this creek's actually opened up a lot since yesterday oh uh, we got that one there that took care of himself then we got one over here that took care of himself too so we'll get this other one taken care of first triple of the day that's what i like to that's what i like to see right there guys two nice coons sitting down here with dps on their wrists so we'll get them taken care of and get out of here now that there's a doggone bear boys uh, it's always a really good spot for me. There's a building right here I think they're living in and across the road going to some timber on the other side. So we'll get him taken care of and get out of here. Nice big coon. Nice dry coon, finally. Uh, I got a feeling a lot of my water stuff's going to produce today. The coon are starting to head towards the water, but about the last week to hit these dry land coon real hard. So that's what we're going to do. All right. So this is something I want to talk about a little bit. Got us a nice coon down here in the tube. A nice big boy there dark guy but something i want to talk about is this is a tube coming from timber going to corn and this was full of snow you can see the trail here it was full of snow yesterday when i set it because i set it pretty early and the snow was melting off and i anticipated that even though there's snow there was no fresh tracks going through the snow once we got a warm night like last night <clears throat> they were going to go through here so you guys get warm stretches like this after a long cold snap them coon get hungry and you gotta you gotta be ahead of them anticipate where they're gonna go so i'll get him taken care of and get out of here did you guys this trail coming up over this tube yesterday and today it's got a baby bear so really big coon. what are you doing dude he's being kind of funky but we'll get him taken care of and get out of here i showed you guys this yesterday that trail coming up from that draw there we got us a double down here today Ooh as was expected this is one of my better spots when we got corn on the other side so got us a nice big one here and then about a 2x sitting in the tube up there so we'll get them taken care of and get out of here got us a nice fuzzball here oh there's a big timber behind me there's actually a gateway behind me uh, that's why i set this trail there's a gateway and it's just this little faint trail but it's always good for a couple coon because they got just a little patch of corn over here so We'll get him taken care of and get out of here. He's a beautifully furred coon. All righty, guys. I uh, want to talk a little bit. Got me a nice, nice coon down in here. He's all tangled up in vines and stuff. Got a nice coon sitting down in here in this tube, but 
this is kind of some open country here but there's this big den tree right there if you guys can see um that sucker's loaded with coon i always catch a bunch of coon on this trail uh it's really open a lot of people wouldn't think about trapping it but there's that big den tree and i always catch i shouldn't say a lot probably three or four coon out of it every year so good spot to me on dry land so we'll get him taken care of and get out of here all righty guys coming down to probably my favorite bridge to trap around home here uh, got us a nice big boy there the reason it's my favorite is because there's this culvert right here and I, I don't know if they live in it or what but there's always a good high trail that goes down to the creek from up here and i got one big coon there come over this way another nice big coon there uh, looks like he actually ended up setting off my other dog proof but we'll get these two taken care of and get out of here nice big boys all righty if you guys can see all these vines in the ditch there's a culvert over there um, a lot of people would see all these vines and they wouldn't even want to go through them well me i'm dumb enough to just plow right through them and it paid off today we got us a coon down here if i can get to him but yeah guys go where no one else wants to go and you'll reap the rewards that's a really big coon in there too get him to show up there he is <laughs> Woo! we'll get him taken care of and get out of here got us a nice big boy here uh, coming from a big timber behind me the cattle pasture with some denning areas and then there's a big cornfield down here to my east so nice big coon there big fluffy guy so we'll get him taken care of and get down the road now that's a pretty colored coon there uh this is the third location in a row we've had one and this sucker here's got both hands in the cookie jar so we'll get him or i should say her it looks like a sow based on its face but we'll get him taken care of and get out of here there's a big old jumbo uh this this road i think i got five locations on it so far and we've had four coon so can't complain about that a nice really big coon there so we'll get him taken care of and get out of here we got a pile of them in the truck already and we're about halfway done all right guys uh we're down in the bridge i actually caught a double on coon down here but i'm putting in a a mink set right now i think we got some some mink swimming up and down this creek here so get that pogo driven in there uh, i'm not going to run this on a drowner uh, specifically because i'm just going to make it for a mink and there's not enough water here to drown a coon anyways so we'll get our trap there i'm going to go ahead and shove it i gotta clean out my hole a little bit here i dug a pocket up in there put my trap up close to that hole take my chunk of carp you guys can see how big of a chunk of carp i'm using for this uh, the old timers swear by using that big chunk of fish so got that thrown in there see if i can get this open there we go fish oil on the bank we'll see if we can't get a mink out of there oh, there's no real mink sign down here but everything's froze up down here anyways so it'll be staying open now so i wanted to get a mink set put in here Seem like a spot where I can catch one. I don't know. Uh, got a nice dry coon there. Let me come over here. This is why I wanted to put a mink set in here. You guys can see there's been something swimming through here. So we got another coon right here. It's kind of wet. So we'll get them taken care of and get out of here. Righty, we're at another one. Uh, I think I actually showed making these sets yesterday. Oh man, I'm about to biff it here. Ugh. But we got number one who's just an absolute tank and then we got mr disaster himself sitting right here so we'll get him taken care of and get out of here that coon there is ginormous this is the location i showed you guys yesterday that i found a timber to timber with buildings on both sides we got one really big coon and another nice coon over there so definitely paid off we'll get these boys taken care of and get out of here got us a big boy down here in this tube he's a little wet but definitely a good one for sure i'll get him taken care of and get out of here guys we got a skunk <laughs> gotta fix my gopro here it's at a messed up angle because i just face planted a little bit ago got us a nice stinker down there i'll get him taken care of just got our skunk dispatched here guys uh shot right behind the right behind the shoulder there he's a nice nice pretty guy Really nice stripes on that guy there. Pretty cool little spot he's got going there too, but 
go ahead and get our trap reset here. I set this spot on a hunch that there was actually going to be a skunk going through here. Uh, it's kind of too open for a coon, for it to be a really good coon area anyways. You'll still pick up a couple big ones out here, but some of these open areas, they got skunks. And I like the skunks. So we'll throw them in the truck and get down the road. All right, guys, if you remember that bridge, showed you all them mink tracks in. Uh, we're working on throwing in a little mink set here. Just got my pocket thrown in there. Get my things collected. I see my other dog proof knocked over, so we'll go get that fixed. But we got us a coon sitting right over there too. So get him taken care of and fix that other one and get out of here. Well, the old standing cornfield. Got us a nice coon in 220 here. Uh, I don't see my rat stretcher. I don't know what he did with that. Oh, here it is. He was wearing it. But we'll get him popped out of here quick. See if I can get a grip on him. There we go. Boy, these new 220s here, guys. They're stout. Stout. Stout suckers. But we got him pretty early last night. He's really stiff. So. But an interesting thing, I just had a coon... Uh, about 100 yards from here in a dog proof. And he was also in the second trap, the one closest to the corn. And that one was definitely coming from the corn too. So I'm wondering if they're living in this corn or something. I don't, could be, I know they do in the summer, but I mean, they got no reason to leave it. All they are is flipping corn eating monsters, but get this 220 reset here. I don't really like how he died right there, but this 220 is, well, it was brand new at the beginning of the year, so it's, I know she's got some power to her. Took our 220 back in here. Like I had it. Ooh. There we go. Uh, kind of bring their, fun I do a lot of that guys bring their funnel out a little bit. Uh, just so it gets my 220 in there. Just so there's like no gap in the roof of that funnel. I feel like it, makes the set better if they're already going through the funnel when they hit your trap they don't think anything about walking underneath the grass if, it's, if they're going through that funnel so got that reset take our coon and get out of here the standing corn guys we got a nice coon sitting there in the 220 uh, flopped off the trail trail still flowing got the next one that came through right there so this one here's a really nice coon in the 220 so we'll get them taken care of and get out of here Oh, how I love this standing corn so much. We got another nice, beautiful coon sitting down here. Man, that's that's the fifth coon we've taken off of this road already. So we'll get him taken care of and get out of here. And we have reached the end of our standing corn road. And we got a coon. This is um, the seventh coon along this road. And it's only about a 400 yard stretch. That we got standing corn along here so definitely a lot of coon going through here. here's the spots you want to find guys oh, i don't see my other dog proof oh never mind the other one's got a coon in it too <laughs> i didn't even see him up here yeah so we took eight coon wow all right we'll get these boys taken care of and get out of here there's a big boy guys nice big coon just had this guy that lives at this house yell at me about oh i can't be coon trapping here Yes, I can, sir. That's all you can say. So, I don't know. We'll see. I'm trapped here for years, and he's never even seen me. So, we'll get this, get this big boy here taken care of, and get out of here. Got us a nice boy here, going to this cut cornfield. Boy, he's a vocal guy too. But ice can. We well, yeah, got a pile in the truck. They're starting to starting to overflow in the truck. So, we'll get him taken care of and get out of here. Alrighty, I saw a really pretty coon sitting down here when I got here. I oh, just hiding in the tube down here. We'll get him taken care of and get out of here. We're about to wrap it up. All right, guys, just got done at the last location. I'm gonna give you count when I get home, but we got a pile of them sitting in here. So, anyways, we'll be heading home after I get some lunch. I'm hungry. Well, guys, just got back today. Um, I guess I should have been counting because we broke the 700 mark. I really didn't think we had that many, but all my dry stuff is right here, which I really like to see this amount of dry stuff. 
I got my 220 Kuhn laying over there and then I got all my wet stuff laying out here so 84 today puts me at 705 on the year guys so we're chugging right along uh been a great season so far hopefully we can keep this up here i'm gonna go out and put some more traps out here in a little bit so anyways y'all take care and, and uh until tomorrow